Hi again, internet people. So today I'm going to be doing a simple mod. This one is going to be changing your extruder gears from a regular style to a 3D printed herringbone style. Now this isn't necessarily a practical mod. It doesn't make anything better on the printer. It doesn't make anything worse. But it's pretty much just a mod to make your printer look a tad bit cooler. But I do feel that this is a good starter mod. If you want to modify your printer, but you can't find something simple enough that's not going to be detrimental to the performance of it, this is a good mod to start out with. I'll have a link below in the description for the gears that I use that work for the Robo 3D printer. Now like I said before, there's no added benefit of doing this to your printer besides making it look cooler. And I like making my printer look cool. So I'm gonna do it. So my printer just finished printing out the herringbone gears for the Robo 3D printer. I decided because pretty much all of my pieces on my extruder are 3D printed. Why not do the gears too? So this is actually pretty simple and straightforward. You don't have to do much about it. What I do is I grab a pair of pliers and I hold the bolts. Once it's held tightly in place you actually can move the extruder gear backwards. Uh, make sure that your extruder is not going to grind away at your cold filament. And once this comes off, the bolt will release and you'll have your old extruder gear. And to get the other one off, same thing, take the pliers and just kind of move sideways and take this piece off as well. So this model allows you to put the same nut inside the extruder gear and you're just going to spin that back onto here. And then same thing with this little piece, it goes right over the extruder. Now to be honest, I did have to sand the small gear a little bit to get this to work properly. It does extrude and retract just fine without any problems. I did an extruder calibration and it actually matches the exact same steps on these old gears, so I didn't have to do any major calibration. Now I'm not gonna lie, this isn't a print and stick model. You can't just print it out and jam it onto the extruder and expect everything to go well. Now you might have to sand the extruder gear for about five to ten minutes in order for it to fit on your extruder properly, but during the time you're sanding you could be watching YouTube videos, printing something else out, or pretty much just listening to music. It doesn't take that much time. There is a bit of effort involved, but, you know, your printer looks cool in the end. Besides the minute amount of filing you have to do, the model's pretty solid. It fits on well and the gears mesh together perfectly. I love the model and it makes my printer look awesome. So this is a good first modification to do on the printer. If you want to start modifying your printer, but don't want to change anything drastic and or performance hindering on the printer. The herringbone mod is actually pretty cool. It allows you to get your hands inside with the printer without actually changing anything that's going to affect performance. If you have any questions about this video or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this one, right here. Make sure you click that subscribe button and thanks for watching.